Um, within project management, we, every project has a life cycle, has a beginning and an end. Um, with the project life cycle, it always begins with the initiation phase. Someone has an idea. I am going to buy a car. I'm going to build a bridge. I'm going to buy a new outfit to go out. That's an idea. So you're then initiating your project. From there you move into the development of your project, where you're going to do all your planning, you're going to work out how long it's going to take, how much it's going to cost, what type of equipment you're going to get at the end, so what specifications you're going to write up, how you're going to measure what you've got, are there any risks involved. So we do all of our planning before we actually get into doing the project. And next phase is implement, that is to go and do whatever our project is. If we're going to build a bridge, we actually start building the bridge. If we're going to do a procedure for something for work, we actually then start writing the procedure. If we're going to buy a car, we start the plan, start the transactions on buying the car. There is then during implementation, in some cases you'll see it as a separate issue, but during implementation you go through and monitor and control what is happening. We don't want to get to the end of the project and find we've got the wrong thing, so that's where our monitor comes in. We're looking closely at what we're doing. Are we going to end up with the right thing at the right cost in the right time? If something is happening that shouldn't be happening, we need to then control and manage that item. Our final item is finalisation, is our final phase. That is actually the end of our project. The project isn't completed when the item is handed over. There is a significant amount of work to be done at this point. You have to make sure all the invoices are in for your funding. You have to make sure someone signs off to accept the item that we have got. So if you're building a bridge, someone needs to say the bridge is what we wanted. If you're buying an outfit to go to a special function, someone needs to say yes, we're happy with the outfit that we've got. It also means all of the admin is completed, all of the filing is done, and if you had to purchase something new, to replace something old, part of the finalisation is to ensure that something old is removed. If you're going to buy a new series of computers, the idea is we replace our computers, we go and plan to do our computers, we then go and start the purchase of our computers and installation, but here we have to make sure we get rid of the old ones. We can't have two computers sitting on a desk. So part of your finalisation is ensuring everything is done, including, well done team, you've done a good job. So there are four or five phases in a project life cycle. We have the initiation, where we have an idea. We have the development of that idea by planning. We have the implementation of that idea by actually doing. While we're doing, we monitor and control what is happening. And at the end, we have our finalisation to say everything has been completed and accepted.